Hello, welcome to Minecraft Let's Play Episode 3. Um, I'm back here with the boys again. I still don't have names for these guys, so uh, if you can leave some suggestions in the comments, that'd be great. Um, since we were last here, I've been breeding more sheep. Um, put this chest down just to keep any wheat and seeds in. It saves me going back every time I forget them. Um, I've found some cows, put a pen up and been breeding those and I've extended our farm a bit, made it a little bit bigger. Um, and as you can see I've put some pattern in too just to make it look a bit more homely. You don't need to but I think it looks nice. Uh, come on boys, let's go. We'll take these two with us. Um, I've put a little building up which we're going to use for uh, our enchantment table. Now enchantments are really important in this game. Um, they help your tools be more durable, they help the speed go a bit quicker when you're mining and stuff, and they can help increase the strength of your armor, so we'll crack on with this. Now I've made the room just big enough for our setup and no more. Um, I've put a chest in here which will keep lapis in. It's really important because I always forget to bring it with me. And um, this is the resources we're going to need. We're going to need some planks, we're going to need our enchantment table, and we're going to need some books, which you make with the um, sugar canes. Um, we'll turn these books and the you know, the wood planks into bookshelves. And we've got enough for four for now. Place them along this back wall here. And one step, it's important to leave one gap in between the enchantment table and the bookcase, otherwise it won't work. And you can have up to 15 of these bookcases around the outside leaving a gap in between to get the maximum level of 30 uh, which we've got here um, you simply click on here oh, no, I've forgotten the lapis um, this is exactly why I keep lapis here because when you go in from your storage room to uh, to make tools there and you get you've forgotten your lapis you've got to go all the way back which is which isn't great so um, so yeah we we'll click on here we'll pop our lapis in and if you put a tool that you've already enchanted in, nothing comes up. Okay, so this is only four tools that are bare that you've just made. And you can see we've got level 10, level 7, level 3. Uh, with our four bookcases, you kind of go up to level 30. And on the left-hand side is how much it's going to cost you um, to put efficiency 1 on this axe. Uh, efficiency 1 will make the axe work a lot faster. And they go up to 1, 2, 3, and 4 on this level 30 enchantment table once you've got the bookcases in. If you want to go up to level 5, you need two level 4 enchantments of similar enchantment which you can combine together, uh, which you'll do on an anvil, okay? Um, and that's it for the enchantment, it's pretty straightforward. The next thing we're going to do is, is start our mapping. We're going to have a little explore and uh, make some maps. So if we head back to our storeroom, which I've also changed a little bit. Yeah, I'll put some name plaques on. I've increased the storage a little bit, moved the bed. Um, we'll just put these away here. I'm not going to need these if we're just wandering about. And put that in there, that's it. And this is what we're going to use. We're going to use um, an item frame, which you make with sticks um, and leather and we're going to use some uh, empty locator maps, which you use a, a compass and paper to make. Um, first, you, you turn the sugar cane into paper, paper into a, a map, and then a map and a compass into the locator maps. And what this does is it shows you your location on the map. So it's the only way to actually build our map wall, because you kind of need to know where you are. So if we just uh, create our first map here, which is where we are, you can see it shows our location, the little white dot there in the middle that's turning, that's me. The little pointy bit will point to the direction you're facing, and you can see the buildings on, on the map here that we've already made. Okay, So if we use these item frames, this is how we're going to stick our maps to the wall. And pop the map in there, and you can see it creates a full-sized, zoomed-in map of our area. And then we just want to litter this wall completely with item frames and repeat the process. Just make maps in each area and um, 
come and put them on the wall. And what we'll find is all these maps will join together and we'll have a good overview of what the area actually looks like as a whole. And it's great for exploring and getting your bearings and things because it's so easy to get lost in Minecraft if you don't know the area. So if we take this map back off and we use it to orientate ourselves, because it's very important that when you do these maps, you get them in the right order, otherwise they just won't work. You can see we're facing out towards the side there. So that's going to be... If we put that back on, yeah, we're going to go to the right. We've got two empty spaces for that. So if we take our map with us and just head up here, go off the edge of the map. Now, it's important once you go off the edge of the map to keep going for a little while to just you don't want to risk duplicating the same map. So we'll just go a little bit further and then choose our empty map, make the map and bang, there we go. So that should be our next map to the right hand side of the original. So if we just head back, and it's, it's getting dark already. Um, I don't really want to be fighting mobs just yet. So uh, we'll head back and we'll go and sleep for the night. At least now we've got windows, so we won't get any surprise spider attacks when we wake up. That's great if you've seen the last episode. I'll wait for morning, and then we'll go back and pop these on the map, and uh, you'll see how they join together. Oh no, we've got a creeper. Um, he's right by our map wall. I really don't want that to explode. Right, simplest way to do it, when you begin, one, and run away, hit him two, and run away and hit him three, run away, okay? You can do it all in one go, you can charge him and just do three three attacks uh, if you get the timing right, but you really just don't want to take the chance when you're new at this. Um, yeah, that would have been disastrous. Um, you see I put our two maps up there, they join together seamlessly and, and it's, it's perfect really. Um, and we, we just repeat the process over all 25 um, of our blocks here. Um, you can have it as big or as little as you want. You know, you could start off with 4, 10, 25, 50, 100, 200. It, it, it really doesn't matter. It just depends on how much time and effort you want to put into it. Um, if, we, if we take this back off and we'll head down a couple. I'll just show you how it works when you do more than one. And we'll just speed this up. And we'll, uh, yeah, we're going to go 1, 2, we're gonna go 3. So we'll just speed this up a bit. There we go, and uh, that's two, one more, and oh, we found a village, oh great, that's pretty close to home actually, and we found what used to be a, another portal, um, these are scattered around the map randomly, the, the kind of old world remnants if you like, uh, they just randomly spawn, they're not complete, they're always a little broken, but um, they usually have the obsidian around them to to make and, and go into the nether and the nether if you if you don't know what that is um it it's it's hell basically uh it's a portal to hell where you you get pigmen uh attack you you get uh, guys that fire out uh well fire fire at you <laughs> and everything's out to kill you basically um we'll just head back and we'll we'll put this back on the wall so we'll put the original one back in and then if you've kept them in the right order it's just a case of going down, popping the next one in, going down, popping the next one in, and they all link in. Easy as that. I mean, these look complicated, but once you, you've done it a, time, a couple of times, they're pretty simple, really. It's easy enough. So you've just got to be careful to orientate yourself in the right direction when you go off. Um, and keep the maps in, um, in order. If you uh, if you get the maps in the wrong order, it's just a complete nightmare. Putting them on the ma on the wall, taking them back off again, seeing if they match up. But it's it's a really good overview of um, of what the world is like. And like I said, we were just doing a couple there, and we found this village, which we're going to explore today, um, and have a good look around. We'll have a look at a few villages, and we'll introduce you into trading. 
uh, which is probably the easiest way to get emeralds, to be honest. Um, here's the next three, so we'll pop these on. Again, put the original back in. And if you've kept them in order, it's just a simple case of one after another. And there you go. That's like your first six. And if you just take, you know, every time you take one off and um, orientate yourself in the right direction and go off, the side of it make a new map that's that's how it's done um and before the next tutorial i'll fill up the rest of this wall and and we'll get it complete and we'll have a, a good look at what the world actually looks like and if we just head back to that village we'll uh, we'll go and explore a little bit see what's there um these randomly spawn in every biome um and they have, you know, some of them are empty, some of them are abandoned, some of them will um, contain villages. And they have jobs, you know, you get farmer villages, you get um, librarian villages, etc. And uh, they're quite handy to come across, you know, you can pretty much steal anything out of these and they won't... Oh, a little trapped <laughs> plant pot. Um, you can pretty much steal anything you want out of these. Hello, dude. He's... Uh, yeah, he's wanting to trade something I don't have, so um, we'll come back to him later on. But as you can see, you know, you you get different levels, level 1, level 2 with these, and the more you trade with these guys, the more experience they get. And the higher... Oh, it's a stone cutter? Okay. The higher um, level you, you trade with, the, the better things you can actually... Uh, are you coming to? The better things you can get off them. Um, but we'll just have a good ratch through all these buildings. I mean, you can take the beds out and things. Um, what I tend to like to do is actually fix up these villages. And we'll we'll use that as our nether portal later on. Um, and go through to the nether for the first time. It's quite risky out there. Um, the whole place is covered with lava. Uh, lava moves as fast as water in the nether. Uh, it's, it's not like the overworld. Um, where you can easily just walk away from it, it does move pretty quick. So there's a high risk of you dying, so it's, it's generally generally a good idea to be really careful when you're in there. What have we got here? Oh, this dude's in prison. He's a pirate, look, he's got a little, <laughs> a little eye patch. And he's, yeah, he's trading the coal for emeralds. I don't have any, oh. Oh, this is a farmer. This is the guy that we're going to kidnap later on. Um, and he's after some wheat. Yeah, I think I think we'll trade with him. Uh, we'll get some wheat together, and uh, oh yeah, we could do with that later on as well. Um, we'll get some wheat together and we'll trade with him. Get a couple of emeralds. Uh, is, there, oh, is there anything in that chest? No, oh, that's empty. Okay, we'll move on. And it's getting dark soon, so uh, I think I might just sleep here for the night. To be honest, save battling any any mobs. Yeah, we'll just sleep here. This will do. Now it's important uh, when you get back home to um, redo your respawn point because if you do die now you will end up back here which isn't too bad where we are right now because it's pretty close to our village but you know if you're really far away it's quite inconvenient when you wake up from dying and um, you've got nothing you've got no tools or anything you don't want to be traveling too far um, yeah I think we'll we'll have a wander up here and we'll We'll get some wheat and we'll uh, we'll trade with that guy. What have we got here? Oh, we've got some beetroot. Uh, I think we'll have some of that and take it home and, and replant it. And uh, what's up here? Yeah, no, we've, we've have we been there. I will right, we'll go down here. Um, we'll go have a good ratch through all these buildings. What's this? Oh, this is a loom. Um, it's great for making banners and things like that. We don't need that right now, so we'll just we'll leave it put. There we go. I just uh, oh, a little dog. <laughs> also, you get cats in these places too. Little cats that run around. They do have a habit of killing the wildlife, though. Uh, if you get a dog in your sheep pen, you know, you're in trouble. It'll just literally kill all the sheep. And uh, we'll have a good look in here. What have we got? We've got a bed. 
Ah, oh, we've got some potatoes. I oh, will take those. I haven't found any of those yet. I do like a, a little potato farm. Um, and pop them in the oven and, and make jacket potatoes, which are, are pretty good to eat. But like I said, meat's better. What have we got up here? Just a bed. Now we'll just leave that. And yeah, what I like to do is, is fix up these little villages. You know, just tidy them up and uh, put some more lighting in. Um, it's like a home away from home sometimes when you when you're out far. If you're going looking for a new mine or whatever, you want to go to uh, a different biome. Let's see what's up here. We've got some wheat blocks and some plain. I the plains. That's great because uh, we're gonna need to go hunting for skeletons and, and I haven't found a skeleton spawner yet in the caves I've been in so uh, skeletons spawn quite heavily in the in the plains uh, I think we'll come back here to hunt later on but if we just take all these and um, find a crafting table I'll show you how we trade with villagers um, you don't have to trade with villagers, but like I said, it's a good way to get emeralds, which are the most elusive uh, resource in the game. Uh, did we see a crafting table anywhere? I can't think, I can't think now. Um, oh, he's, he's gone into prison with that guy now. Um, was there one in here? I don't know, I don't think there was. If we just find a crafting table and we'll turn these blocks into wheat. It's worth noting that if you kill the villagers, um, some rather angry dudes will turn up and uh, and try and kill you. Um, ringing this bell should usually summon them if they're nearby. However, I don't think there's a stronghold around here. Strongholds are quite good for looting. Uh, they're quite difficult to loot. Um, these dudes with crossbows and, and flags and things quite heavily defend them, but no, there's none around here, so we'll, we'll look for one of those later on. Um, and I think I'm just going to borrow this, because I don't want to take down a full tree. Um, and we'll make a crafting table. I don't think uh, anyone will notice if I, if I put it back in the hole. Really. Um, just put it back where I found the log. There we go. Uh, we'll, we'll make some wheat and we'll go and trade with this villager. Uh, I just want to show you just how easy it is. And uh, we'll go back up. He'll still be in prison actually. He's, he's, he's jumped in there and he can't get back out now. Um, at least he's made friends. We'll, we'll go around and we'll, we'll change some of this. Oh, thanks game. Now that he wants carrots, um, <laughs> We go off and find wheat, and uh, he changes his mind, it's, it's typical, and now he wants carrots. Uh, I, I really don't know if there are any carrots around here. Um, I think it was just beetroot and wheat. Uh, now he hasn't changed his mind, so we'll, uh, we'll go on a hunt, see if we can find some carrots now. That's just typical of the game, really. Um, he asks for wheat, you go and get wheat, and then he wants carrots. And it's just wheat, 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 more wheat. You know, just something we don't need, more wheat. I don't think there was any carrots around here, to be honest. Um, I mean, I'm not sure that what the time interval is. Um, I do know that they change their mind periodically. So uh, we'll, we'll head back up to him again and see... See if he's maybe changed his mind back to wheat. And let's see what he what he wants now. It's ah beetroot. Yeah, I, I know where there's some beetroot. Um, we'll go and get that, and we'll, we'll trade the beetroot for an emerald. Uh, we know where that. Where was it? <laughs> I, uh, I was just there a minute ago. Ah, it's, it's up here. It's all right. We'll, we'll take all this beetroot, and uh, and we'll finally trade with him because I don't think he'll change his mind that quickly. There we go. Right, beetroot. Yes, finally, we'll uh, we'll trade this for an emerald, and you can see the experience points going up there. Um, once you've traded with him a bunch of times, he'll go up to level two, and then you can trade for for better things. And he's going straight over to that composter, 
And if he had inventory of uh, seeds, he would be planting seeds right now. Um, if we just throw him one. There we go, straight away he plants it. Okay, so we're going to utilize this process uh, in another episode where we're going to kidnap this guy. Build a little farm, uh, put a composter in, uh, an automated system to collect the wheat. Because when the wheat grows, he will uh, harvest it and replace it with seeds, completely automated. And he, he wants to go back into prison with that guy. I'll just take that off because you know you're not going back in there. Okay, you can go and do your job and, and plant some some wheat. Um, it seems like that pig's awfully interested in him as well. But uh, yeah, like I said, you can trade for things. You know, one emerald, six loaves of bread. Not really a good deal, but you can get some things that you don't have. Um, he's, he's he's offered that sheep now. So I think uh, if we just let's we'll see what this guy wants. No, I don't have any of that. Well, if we uh, head back to the village. Head back to ours, because that's, that's just about it for episode 3. Um, we've managed to do our our map wall. Um, we've done our enchanting room. And we'll work on those two things off camera, uh, get them finished off. And we found a village that we're going to utilise later, so uh, that's great. Um, a village isn't too far away. Um, I'll just uh, say bye to the boys, and we'll, we'll take them with us over here. Like I said, we need some names for these guys, so um, leave some comments, you know, give me some ideas. And I'll continue with, with the map wall and the, the enchanting room whilst, uh, whilst you're waiting for the next episode. Um, start from the middle and off I go, really. Um, I think I'm going to have to eat something though before I go. What about you two? Do you, uh, do you want something to eat? Do you want a potato? Do you want a bit of bread? No? Okay. I'll, I'll eat this one. And, uh, that's us for today. So uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.